Hello, I want to discuss briefly why we think Special SQL is a, a very good solution to do geospatial analytics at a scale. The traditional view of Special SQL, we simply have a new data type, geometry or geography, and a collection of SQL functions that we work with. But in a more modern view, we see special SQL as an interoperable language that is used not only for database query, but also for doing geospatial analysis, spatial data science, or application development. And it's also useful to break the silos between geospatial data and our data used for analytics in the enterprise. And in addition to that, using machine learning engines and so on, we can support advanced operations as spatial modeling or machine learning applied to vector or raster data. So we think it's not just a database tool, but also a very useful tool for doing uh, analytical work. Uh, the second thing we need to do to use to do geospatial analytics at a scale is a spatial indexing. So when you are trying to do geospatial analysis using massive data sets where we have hundreds of millions of features or billions of features, if you are doing a spatial joins with this kind of data sets, uh, it's really, really difficult. Uh, and what we are doing is to use these discrete global grid systems like QuadKeys or H3 in order to be able to have like a common geographic scale and the same reference for all the data. Uh, when we are mix that with SQL, it means that the spatial joins now become regular joins. And the database engine, the data warehouse engines are really fast doing intersections using integers or strings. So it becomes manageable. If we mix it also with um, tiling schemes, we can also smoothly visualize data sets where you have billions of features or do just spatial analysis at, at a scale. And finally, there are also some key problems in a spatial data science like doing hotspot analysis or doing correlation using Moransai or Getty Sort that are really difficult to implement when we are dealing with these massive data sets. But if we switch to spatial indexes, it becomes something that you can run in a reasonable time. Finally, what are we doing at Carto is to implement something that we call the analytics toolbox on top of Spark and also on top of other cloud data warehouses. And we are leveraging the Java topology suite on top of a Spark SQL. So instead of having to, to do the work using a Scala or any other language supported by a Spark, you can directly run SQL queries. So essentially, we have created a set of models on top of GTS using traditional geometries with WKT. And now we are taking advantage of the H3 support that Databricks is creating for a Spark in order to be able to also leverage this spatial indexing system. So we have a collection of models that you can use to, to do your spatial analysis at a scale. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much.